Welcome to IoT Craft Hub, your go-to channel for IoT, electronics, and 3D printing. In today's episode, we're going to build a simple IoT temperature monitoring device using an ESP32 board. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need the following components. An ESP32 board, DHT, 11 temperature and humidity sensor, breadboard and jumper wires. Also, make sure you have the Arduino IDE installed on your computer with ESP32 board support. This device will read the current temperature and humidity using the DHT11 sensor and send the data to an IoT platform where you can monitor it from anywhere. Perfect for simple home automation or data logging projects. In one of our future videos, we'll create a 3D printed case for this project to make it even more practical and visually appealing. Now let's connect everything. Connect the VCC pin of the DHT11 sensor to the 3.3 volts output on the board. Connect the GND pin to the ground on the board. Connect the data pin to GPIO14 or any digital pin of your choice on the board. Double check all connections to avoid any issues. This is an overview of the pins on the board. Next, we'll write the code to read temperature data and send it to an IoT platform. Open the Arduino IDE and make sure you have the necessary libraries installed. DHT sensor library for ESP32. Wi-Fi library, built in for ESP32. This code is designed to read data from a DHT11 sensor connected to an ESP32, then send the temperature and humidity readings to a server using an HTTP POST request. The code is modular with the HTTP communication handled in a separate function for clarity and reusability. Upload this code to your ESP32 and make sure to monitor the serial monitor for any errors. Once the code is successfully uploaded, your device should start reading temperature and humidity data and sending it to your chosen IoT platform. Error sending data is displayed because we have not yet created an endpoint for receiving data. That's it for today's project. We've successfully built a simple IoT temperature monitoring device with ESP32. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more DIY electronics tutorials. See you next time.